Welcome back. With me, I have uh, two of my favorite guests. They've been on uh, other Western sports scene shows in the past. They're probably the authority of sports medicine, rehabilitation, and of course, most importantly, prevention here. Dr. DeSimone, Dr. Rob Scheinberg, always a pleasure to have you on the program. Let's start. Uh, you're very active in the community. What specific things have really cultivated your practice with the community of West? We like to get involved with the community. We, um, we try to give lecture series. Uh, we give lectures to the coaches. We're involved with the community. We, uh, we have a, a trainers out on the field uh, seven days a week uh, that are involved with the kids, uh, different sporting events such as the soccer, uh, Little League Baseball, uh, lacrosse, uh, as well as the roller hockey league. You've uh, you know, a very interesting story, and I, and I speak on behalf of lacrosse. I'm out there on those uh, 10 to 7 days, uh, Saturdays from January to June. And, uh, Dr. Uh, Patrick Felton, who uh, recently just had a, a, a baby last night. Having a baby? Uh, well, the water broke during the game yesterday. Right. Okay? And we're talking here April 21st. Um, but anyway, it's interesting. He has, has helped several kids by not putting them back in a game with an ice pack. But one child had a, um, uh, what is it? Cervical spine injury. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, uh, concussions and so on. Probably saved some parents some grief. And, and I think that that in itself and what you're doing the community it is so spectacular because you know a coach gets caught up in a game and all they want to do is win and they get this momentum moving instead of thinking oh just you know the kids on the bench and he's sort of iced down just give me three more minutes and you know those three more minutes could ruin a child's career what we what we found was uh, years ago we've been out in uh, west broward since 1988 and what we found is over the years a lot of these kids would come in on monday morning they'd have injuries they'd go to the emergency room they didn't have really the appropriate care and what we found over the past year, we have, like Alex was talking about, we have athletic trainers out at the fields. They identify injuries that would uh, sometimes allow kids to go back out and play very minor problems and sometimes more advanced problems. And if they have an advanced problems, they get treated immediately right on the field. And if it's something very serious, we get a call and uh, see some of these kids. It stops them from going through the emergency room, which is great for certain types of mm -hmm. injuries, certain types of trauma, but for extremity trauma, for uh, fractures, uh, foot, ankle, leg, arm, elbow, shoulder, I think a lot of these kids could be treated better by going to the guys that really treat well, these things know, primarily. What I find unique, down on the field, uh, Dr. Felton usually sets up charts, the knee, the ankle, the, and when a kid's laying under there holding onto his knee and he's got the ice on it, he's basically, it's almost like a, a, a mini classroom showing the tendons and what could be going on, and a parent walks over there and literally can see what's going on. There's a difference. You can't see below that skin, and the momentum is going, and the emotion is going, and you just have to freeze it. And, and I, I think that's been better than a guy out there with a box waiting for the injury. The prevention factor you've offered to the community is invaluable. We try to get into prevention because we know what's going to help these kids uh, before they get into the game. We talk about hydration. And we've talked about that in the past, trying to get these kids hydrated before they go out there and play in a really hot day. And then really trying to get these kids into uh, evaluating certain things that may predispose them to certain injuries. And if you can evaluate them and you can see certain activities that may not be best for them, if there are certain exercises that may help or enhance their game, then we try to do those things in helping these kids play at a better level. Most important to try to prevent these injuries from happening. Mm -hmm. In talking to Health South earlier in the show, um, they mentioned that their affiliation with you, exactly what does that uh, take on? Good medicine. We, uh, we uh, enjoy working with the therapists at Health South, and uh, uh, we work with them on the fields. Mm -hmm. We do lectureships together. Uh, mm -hmm. We put together uh, spots with them. Will we be in those combines they're doing on June 3rd and then May Right. We've been after doing that for a long time. The combines are great. It really gives kids a good baseline, see where they are relative to some of their peers, and trying to identify maybe an area where they may be weak and trying to really work on that area sure. so that at a later time they can improve that particular skill. Geographically, um, obviously, uh, you're a pillar in, in Weston right there off of uh, the medical center, right off of... Uh, right over in the medical professional campus. Medical professional campus. Geographically, you're, you, you're far more reaching than just Weston. You, you serve as Tamarack. Right. Um, we have an office in Silver Lakes, Pembroke Pines, Pines Westbrook, Pines. Pembroke Pines, and we also have a satellite plantation as well as Tamarack. We see a lot of kids, a lot of injuries all over the county. I, I think that this... Well, how can parents, let's do this. How can parents, in each of your views, because you know this is uh, probably the most important question, how can parents make your job last and make their stress last? Because I mean, that's what it is. The better prevention they can do with the proper mouthpiece and, 
and the wraps and so on, you know, keeps them out of your office at the same time, you know, makes their environment with their children happy while they're watching them play sports. You know, we're seeing a lot of overuse injuries. We're seeing a lot of uh, uh, fractures and sprains. Uh, we're seeing a lot of ligament injuries. Uh, but really, over the last year or two, uh, since the community is so involved with sports and you have so many parents that are so knowledgeable with regards to the types of sports that the kids are playing, and the coaches out there are great. They, they really know how to prevent injuries. They get the kids involved with stretching and teaching them uh, proper protocols before playing for the season. But we're seeing kids out there the whole year and their seasons are starting to blend into one another. And that's where we're starting to see a lot of overuse injuries. Sure. And I think that if parents and coaches, as well as the physicians, moms and dads, mm -hmm. get their kids into maybe a satellite where during the summer they can do a little bit of swimming, cycling, maybe cross train, I think that will probably right. eliminate some of our injuries. Right, to give those, you know, if they're gonna play sports year round, they definitely have to take it uh, into consideration that a muscle that's doing one thing in one sport that's, uh, does something else in another sport, and if you're not constantly keeping that muscle flexible in that, you're gonna have a damage. Parents also need to understand that there are certain injuries that allow kids to go back and playing, and there are certain injuries that, uh, that they should really watch over. When to see a doctor, when not to. Exactly. If they uh, have an area that's swollen, a little bit discolored. And, and if I've noticed, that's on, we, uh, on a lacrosse website, we have a link to your site, which is, is really user-friendly. It's a lot, very exciting, and you have those tips in there. We're trying to educate people through the website, uh, through articles that we've written for local papers and local magazines uh, and also on the field and the more we educate the parents the more parents I think understand what their kids are going through right. but there are certain things that parents should be aware of those injuries to the extremities that have a little bit of discoloration swelling difficulty walking on a body part mm -hmm. those are injuries that really should be looked at versus a kid who gets up in the morning who's a little bit stiff and then goes throughout school and goes through physical education no problem Usually those kids just have minor, minor injuries, they can go back out and play. But you really need to identify those, those uh, injuries to the growth plates that really should stop kids from playing, despite the fact that they want to play and the parents want exactly. them to play. Yeah. You really got to watch you, those. Put the emotion aside, yeah. take in the common sense. Right. You guys are doing a great job in the community. We enjoy having you out there. Uh, football season's around the corner, which they'll be coming up soon on the show. Um, keep up the great work. Doing Appreciate a great job you having us here. here.